Hello, I'm Kyle Sanders, the Chief of Police for the Red Bluff Police Department. This critical incident briefing is intended to give you a better understanding of what occurred during the officer-involved shooting that took place at the Walmart Distribution Center on June 27th at approximately 3.35 p.m. This critical incident briefing will include an overview of the scene, audio recordings, radio transmission recordings, and video from body-worn cameras. It's important to note that while we have been afforded the opportunity to view other video footage, specifically video from surveillance from the Walmart Distribution Center, such video is not in our possession and therefore not included in this briefing. It is also important to mention this briefing is not intended, nor will it review the entire circumstances that took place on June 27th. This incident occurred in the jurisdiction and is it being investigated by the Tehama County Sheriff's Department. Therefore, this briefing will focus solely on the actions of the Red Bluff police officers and more specifically on the officer-involved shooting that took place. Keep in mind, the Red Bluff Police Department investigates all use of force incidents. Incidents involving force that result in death or serious bodily injury may take many months to complete so that every aspect of the incident can be thoroughly examined and appropriate conclusions can be made. These investigations often involve interviewing numerous witnesses, analyzing DNA and other forensic evidence, and reviewing video, audio, and other electronic evidence. It is also essential to know that we do not draw any final conclusions as to whether the officers acted consistently with our policy and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. In order to present you with our preliminary understanding about this ongoing investigation, we have produced this video to provide you with pertinent video footage and audio recordings as well as information obtained from interviews with officers and witnesses to this incident. We hope this video will provide you with relevant information and facts so you can understand the context of the encounter based on what we know at this stage of the investigation. Keep in mind that this investigation is still in progress. Our understanding of the incident may change as we collect and analyze additional evidence and interview witnesses. While an active shooter incident is one of the least frequent situations an officer will handle, it is certainly one of the most stressful environments a police officer is called to perform in. It should be noted by their very nature, active shooter incidents are chaotic. Officers often have minimal or inaccurate information when arriving on scene and emotions generally run high. This incident was no exception as noted by the use of profanity by the officers involved in this incident. The following body-worn camera video recorded by Sergeant Murguia has very strong language and illustrates a deadly force encounter between an armed suspect and the police. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for sensitive viewers and young children. On June 27, 2020, Red Bluff Police Officer Deaver was working patrol when he overheard radio traffic being broadcast on the Tehama County Sheriff Frequency regarding a possible active shooter at the Walmart Distribution Center located at 10815 Highway 99 West in Red Bluff. The Walmart Distribution Center is approximately five miles south of the Red Bluff city limits within the jurisdiction of the Tehama County Sheriff's Office. It is common for law enforcement agencies within Tehama County to monitor the radio traffic of allied agencies to better assist them in the event of emergencies and other mutual aid requests for assistance. Upon hearing the emergency traffic on the Tehama County Sheriff's frequency, Officer Deaver rebroadcast the information on the Red Bluff Police frequency to notify all on-duty personnel of the unfolding emergency. Officer Deaver, Sergeant Murguia, and Officer Rosas responded immediately to the Walmart Distribution Center from Red Bluff at 3.32 p.m. The Red Bluff Police Department issues body-worn cameras to every officer. The cameras are used to document the officer's activity and interactions with the public. Officers are required to activate their body-worn cameras prior to engaging in confrontational activity. An exception to this rule is granted during a rapidly unfolding incident where the officer must engage a subject or where the conscious effort of activating the camera could potentially endanger the officer or excused when a myriad of stressors affect the officer's ability to remember to turn on the camera during an extraordinary event. 
Officer Deaver was focused on the situation before him and did not immediately activate his body camera upon his arrival. Officer Rosa's camera was activated prior to arriving on the scene, but it did not capture the officer-involved shooting. Sergeant Merguia activated his camera prior to arriving on scene, and his camera captured a portion of this officer-involved shooting. Officer Deaver was the first officer to arrive in the parking lot of the Walmart Distribution Center at 3.37 p.m. Sergeant Merguia and Officer Rosas arrived less than a minute later. Officer Deaver was met by a Walmart employee who was bleeding from a head wound. The employee directed Officer Deaver in the direction of a building known as the Smoke House. It was in this area where the employee identified a heavy-set man crouching behind a pickup truck as the shooter. The man had his back to Officer Deaver, and he could not see his hands. Officer Deaver commanded the man to show his hands. As the man turned towards Officer Deaver, Officer Deaver could see he was armed with a long gun. The man faced Officer Deaver and raised his gun. Officer Deaver responded by firing his patrol rifle at the man. The man fired back at Officer Deaver while attempting to conceal himself behind parked cars in the lot. Numerous shots were engaged between Officer Deaver and the suspect as Sergeant Merguia entered the parking lot and stopped his car. When Sergeant Merguia arrived, he heard the sound of gunfire as he neared the front of the building where he saw a burning car. When Sergeant Merguia parked and got out of his car, he again heard the sound of gunfire and observed the suspect using the rails of a pickup truck bed for support while shooting at Officer Deaver. What you are about to hear are radio transmissions between Officer Deaver and Red Bluff Police Dispatch, followed by Sergeant Merguia's body camera video. As a reminder, the video you are about to see is graphic. Viewer discretion is advised. Active shooter, Walmart DC. Active shooter, Walmart DC. Red Bluff copies, active shooter, Walmart DC. Well, find out. I'm in route for Walmart DC. D2, I copy your now. Dropped his rifle. Hands he dropped his rifle. Put your hands up. up. You have a less lethal. Hands, hands up. Show me hands your up. Hands. Show me your fucking hands. Oh. Rifle over here. I'm gonna scare. Show me your fucking hands. Show me your fucking hands. Put your hands out! Put your hands out! Watch your six! I, I have the guns in the truck. In the truck. If you'll secure that, Justin. Hands all the way out! Magazine in the pocket. Show me your hands. Keep me. Keep your hands out in front of you. Not one, at, one at gunpoint. gunpoint Don't Get fucking move. Go. Do not fucking move. Do you understand me? Go, 
Yep, good. Do not move. Do not fucking Do not move. move. You understand me? Do you have any other weapons on you? I'd like to get you medical treatment if you can. Keep your hand where we can see them. Do you have any firearms on you so we can get you medical help? The suspect was transported to St. Elizabeth's Hospital 16 minutes after sustaining injury as a result of the shooting. While on scene, he remained conscious and continued to be uncooperative. He later died of his injuries despite life-saving efforts. The Tehama County Sheriff's Office maintains jurisdiction over the criminal investigation of this incident. Sergeant Merguia and Officer Deaver were both placed on administrative leave while the Tehama County District Attorney conducts an independent investigation into their actions. An internal administrative investigation is also being conducted by the Red Bluff Police Department to determine if any policy violations occurred and to see if any lessons can be learned to improve the department's response to critical incidents such as this. The Tehama County District Attorney's Office Bureau of Investigation is conducting a thorough investigation and evaluation of the use of force during the recent officer-involved shooting at the Walmart Distribution Center on June 27, 2020. The duty of the District Attorney's Office is to conduct an independent evaluation of the lawfulness of the use of lethal force by law enforcement officers. My preliminary investigation revealed the following. Officers from the Red Bluff Police Department arrived at scene within minutes. The officers entered the scene without knowing the identity of the shooter, the number of shooters, and with a diverse group of hundreds of people in a frantic and dynamic setting. Without regard for their own safety, in order to save those at risk, the officers engaged the shooter and a firefight ensued. The suspect was shot and later died at the hospital despite life-saving efforts. My preliminary finding is that the use of lethal force by the officers was lawful, necessary, and justified. The investigation into this incident is ongoing, and at the conclusion of the investigation, a final conclusion and summary will be released to the public. This video summarizes the officer-involved shooting resulting from the incident that took place on June 27th. We know these types of situations can be difficult and traumatic to those involved and anyone who witnessed it. Despite its content, I hope this video has been helpful in providing a better understanding of the Rebel Police Officer's actions during this event. As Chief of Police, I am tremendously proud of our responding officers for their valiant and decisive action during this situation. I'm grateful they were able to confront the suspect and stop him before he continued with further assaultive actions. Additionally, I'm appreciative of all the law enforcement and emergency services personnel involved in this incident and I especially appreciate the tremendous outpouring of support our community has shown us subsequent to this incident. Lastly, it's important to reiterate this investigation is still ongoing and everything discussed throughout this briefing is based on the information as we know it today. Thank you.